Hello Flight Simmers, Rever here, and I wanted to do a quick video on how to enter a flight plan automatically or, or import a flight plan directly into Majestics-8 Q400. As you can see, I have the FMS up, and for the longest time, I sat there typing in each of maybe 20, 10, many, many waypoints, and I figured out through help of looking through websites that you can copy the route plan in. So these are some of the airports that I've flown to on my Around the World series. And I wanted to show you just exactly how I made these and how I imported them. It's really not overly complicated. So first we need to, let's pause this. And we'll go out to a website called Simbrief. You may have heard of it. Um, we will do you know, I'll just do what I would normally do, which is around the world airlines. And I think I'm up to 113 flight number. And you, I mean, you don't really even have to have anything in there. But I am going to then put in a departure plan since we're at KPHL. And let's say we want to go to, let's say, KMCO, Orlando. Uh, it gives us an alternative airport. Not worried about that. You can pick your, your airframe. Uh, you can edit an aircraft, put it in. In any event, I'm going to just pick this. It's the Dash 8. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how accurate all this is. I'm not too worried about that. Here is a couple routes that they're suggesting. And what I also wanted to point out is you can... You come down here, you can see what route that they're suggesting. But let's just say for some reason you didn't want to go to, uh, what is this? Usually when you hover over it, it'll tell you. It's not hovered and telling me. Uh, let's see, let's go out this way and look. That's one, two, three, the fourth waypoint. So that would be one, two, three, SBY maybe. So let's just take SBY out of there. And I'll analyze this route. And it's saying J79 is using invalid waypoints. Let's just take that airway out of there. Analyze route. So now it's saying it's a valid route. Let's see what we actually managed to do. Yep, and we took that waypoint out of there. So the point being that if you wanted to fly to a different place, you can you can just type in your own codes here at that point. So what you can also do, and sometimes it takes a couple, a little bit of trial and error here, is come up here and then we'll generate the flight plan. It usually takes a minute, not too long. There we go. What I'll usually do with this, I might as well point out some of the features of the sim brief. Give it one more second there. Yep. So it shows us, you know, our path once again here and it has a big printout, which means probably more to some other people, but a lot of different stuff there that you can take a look at and winds and but what I usually do is I'll download this, which is the FSX, so you can put that into your FSX if you wanted. And there, see this one here? Majestic Q four hundred. So we're going to download that one as well. So these are both down here at this moment. And I wanted to point out this sky vector. So if we click on that, it will show us the route in sky vector. And that's where, let's just say, oops, don't even know where I'm going. Let's just say we wanted to, you know, go to fly over this VOR station. Oh, that was SBY. We just put that, we had that one in there before. Let's just see if we put in NHK. So I can come over here, drop this in. Yeah, there's NHK. So now we have NHK in there, but we don't have it in this other one. So we should be able to, in between points for, looks like we have a point at, what is this one? FKN. Is that true? 
Yeah, that's the one we just added. What is this one here? DOV. So let's come back here. Oh, that's right. We didn't. Ah. Uh, we already went past that point, but I would come in here and uh, edit flight. And you can come back and try to put in a point, you know, what was it? NK, V, and let's see what happens. Remember, I forgot my point that quick. And HK. Let's see what it did with that. <laughs> yeah. Random doesn't usually work all that well with this stuff. There you go. So we get a valid point, and then you can see right here we put in that NHK point right there. So then we can regenerate it if we wanted to. But you get the idea. So there you go. So you can see it in Sky Vector, make any adjustments to it. it gets a little bit clunky, but you know, once you get more familiar with it, I'm sure it would work fine. And now what we want to do is come down to here. And I'm going to hit show in folder. And I'm going to take this flight plan. And I'm going to cut it just so I don't end up with a lot of them in there. And I'm going to go to this folder. And for me, it's my Steam Apps FSX folder. Objects, airplanes, the same place you would install your MJC, uh, you know, dash eight. It is the same folder. Um, you'll find a folder called nav and then routes, and then we'll paste that in here. Boom, there it is. The other, other file that we have, I have too much stuff open here. Downloads. We can cut this one out, and we will go ahead and put it over in... Let's just go to the downloads, documents, and I. this is just my FX in my, my documents is where I open up my my uh, flight plans usually. So there's a whole bunch of them in there that I've flown or not. So there we go. So we've just taken and put one in there. We put a flight plan. Now, this hasn't worked overly well when it comes to meshing up air traffic control with this, but it's worked 90%, 80%, I have to say. So let me, uh, let me just hit return and then copy flight plan. So there we go. KPHL. So I'm going to hit number one here. Enter. And there's the flight plan without us having to type everything in. There you go. KMO, KMCO. And you could, you know, once it's saved, obviously, it's in there if you. Certainly, if you fly a route normally, you won't have to go through all that each time. But that's what I've been doing the last few videos and last few flights. And I've been saves quite a bit of time, especially if you've got an issue like air hauler that <laughs> that doesn't always attach with this plane. It, you know, I've ended up typing this in three times trying to get the flight going, especially if it's a long flight. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Leave a like if, if it does helpful. It helps other people see it. So thanks. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.